Hey guys, it's Emma from I Create Crafts. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to create a Star Wars painted canvas using Oracle 651 as a stencil and painting the background so it's completely painted. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Alright guys, so this is part two of the uh, Star Wars video tutorial that I'm doing with my daughter. So she, if you didn't follow the first one, she is doing a Christmas present for her uncle, my brother, who absolutely loves Star Wars. So she asked me to help her out and cut her out some files. So I bought these files, not this one, I bought these files from Etsy. Um, you can buy them there or you can clean them up on your own in Google, but they didn't have the ones that I wanted or that she wanted. So um, we're going to be using these. So we're going to use Princess Leia here and also Yoda. So again, I downloaded these from Etsy and put them into Design Space. So I just selected the two that I want. I'm going to insert the image and it's going to bring them up here. So if you didn't watch the last tutorial, go back and watch that one. My Both my daughters did it, Emma and Lily, and they did an amazing job doing a Star Wars galaxy on a canvas, and it looks amazing. I will leave the link below to that one, um, but I'm going to finish this one up with her. Uh, she just asked me to cut out a vinyl um, decal, so to speak, for her to paint over. So I'm just going to show you really quick what we're going to do. So these are the two that I have, and I know the size of it is going to be, I think the size of the canvas is seven and a half by nine and a half. So I'm going to do it just under that. So I don't want the whole canvas to be um, full of it. So I'm just going to have it selected. I'm going to go up to the unlock box up here. I'm going to change it to seven by six. And then I'll do this the Yoda too. So again, just unlock it and then just change it to seven by six and you can do it whatever size you want. Um, like this face looks kind of distorted to me. So I'm actually going to do it, just move it over a little bit. Um, so I like these. You like these, Emma? Yeah. Emma sit next to me. This is her project. But basically what I'm going to do is cut this out so that when she puts it on the canvas, she can just paint over it. So she's going to paint her canvases. One's going to be green for the Yoda and then the other one is going to be white for Princess Leia. And then she's going to color over it. So I'll show you what I mean after I'm finished, but I just want to show you this part first. So we're just using this as a, a stencil for now. So one other thing on the side here, I can see that all these pieces are going to cut out individually which means all these little forehead what do you call these creases, Emma? creases. <laughs> I couldn't think um, we'll cut out individually so in order to not do that I'm just gonna have it selected here I'm just gonna push push attach and you can see that all of these now are gonna cut out together so I don't have to worry about putting the pieces together so I'm gonna do the same thing with Yoda here just go down here and attach it and it's gonna cut it out the way it looks. So now that the sizes are correct, I'm just gonna go to make it, and we're gonna see how it looks. I'm actually gonna put this on, whoops, wrong button. I'm gonna put this on a larger mat because I just wanna use one continuous piece of vinyl. I'm actually gonna use Oracle 651. This is what we used on the last video, and it stuck to the canvas really well, and we didn't have a problem with it peeling up while they were painting it. Normally I would say use 631 so you can peel it off easier, but because we're using a canvas, I'm going to use something that's a little bit stickier. And if you didn't want to paint, you could uh, use HTV and iron it right onto your canvas, but she wants to do this homemade. So this is what they're going to look like. I'm just going to push continue and I have uh, the maker machine is what I use. So it's just going to connect to Bluetooth here and then I will show you quickly which setting I use. Okay, so here are my uh, favorite ones. I just went into the Browse All Materials and then I just put the little star by it. So this is what I always use. So I don't use the Cricut brand anymore. I just use whatever's on sale. So I'm going to use a stencil vinyl here. And for the pressure, I'm just going to do more. So it cuts it out a little bit better. So I like it the way it is. I'm going to put it on my green mat. I'm going to spread it out with my scraper and I'll cut it out and then I'll show you the next step. So this is the one that they previously did. If you didn't watch this video, go back and check it out because it is really awesome how they created this. So my daughter who's doing the camera now wants to do two more to go with this. So here is Yoda that I cut out and here is Princess Leia. So she has two canvases here. So we're gonna paint this canvas, we're gonna do green and then we're gonna put the Yoda down and then we're gonna paint white over it. So the Yoda is gonna be green and the background is going to be white. 
And then the same with Princess Leia. We're gonna color, color this black and then she'll look like this. So she'll turn out to be black like this and then it'll be white over it. So we're gonna use this linen white chalk paint for the first one and then this uh, milk paint for the second one and then also to do the green for the Yoda. So we're gonna show you how to do this, but I weeded these out already, so I wanted to show you what they look like. I think they turn out really awesome. So again, go back, watch this other video. I will link it below how they did it. It's actually a quite funny video, so go back and watch that one. And we're gonna get started on this. Emma is doing the camera now, but I'm gonna switch with her, and she's going to be painting um, this one black, and then she's gonna paint this one green, and we'll show you what they look like. Okay, while she's doing this, we're not going to worry about the edges because we're going to paint over this. So once she's done painting this green, we're going to blow dry it, get the paint dry, and then we're going to put the vinyl decal over, and then we're going to paint it black. So she's not worried about the edges here because that's going to be black. So after she's done with this coat, she's going to go to this one and paint this one white and then come back to this one and do another coat on it and then take the hair dryer and dry it so it's completely dry. They're not really awesome. This is I think she did like three coats of green on here, but she's been drying it with the hair dryer in between, so she's just going to dry it one last time before we put the uh, decal on. It. We just shook it up and now we're opening it. Oh, I love using the chalk brand or the Rust-Oleum, but the chalk paint. I use it for almost all of my projects. Was well, this brand new? Wow. I don't think I used this one before, but this is the Milk Paint Finish. It's called Eclipse, but I love these kinds. So she's going to paint this canvas the black color, and then we'll put the vinyl over it, and then paint white over that. Then I'm just gonna take a hair dry and hair dry it. Okay, so Emma is finished painting. This one is green for Yoda, and this black one is for Princess Leia. The next step to do is to take some transfer tape and put it over the detail. And I just buy the cheap dollar store transfer tape. I don't get anything too fancy. Sometimes I do. So I'm just gonna cut this off. Happens to be the right size. And just peel this back, and then just place it on your file. Now that I have my transfer tape on, I'm just going to take an old Costco card that I have. I can't find my scraper, it works just as well. And just scrape it on here, making sure you get all of the parts on. And then I like to flip it upside down and work backwards to make sure everything comes off. Ta-da! <laughs> Which it did. So then we're going to just put it on this way. And if you wanted to get technical, you could get your ruler out and kind of go that way. But since this is a DIY homemade Christmas item, we're just going to do it this way. And I could have done the image a little bit bigger, but she wanted to write Yoda or something down at the bottom here. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is, flatten it out, and then just use my card again. And like I said previously, if you wanted to just leave this on... You could use HTV and heat iron it on if she wanted to use paint. And you better leave this a like because I'm just sitting on the counter recording this. <laughs> so we're just going to peel it back carefully. If anything comes up, you can just push it back down. And then to make sure it really sticks on before we use more paint, I'll go over it lightly with the hair dryer and make it stick just a little better so we, when we paint the next part, it's not going to seep through. So I'm going to use the same transfer tape and use it for Princess Leia, which I might need a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Just use your little credit card again or your scraper. i got to buy some more scrapers. Scrape it on really well. Again, I like to work upside down. Peel back. Perfect. And then do the same on the black. This one's a little bit harder to see because she is black and the paint is black, but 
Once you get it where you like it, same thing. So this one is on too, so you can see there's a few bubbles in it. So what I'm going to do is just take the hair dryer and go on low settings and just let it go in a little bit. It's not a heat transfer, so it's not going to stick on here forever, but it's just going to help so that when she paints the white over it, it's not going to seep through. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick, and then she's going to get her other colors ready. Okay, so now Emma's, we're finished with this. We're just going to paint, Emma's going to paint white on uh, both of these, which means that the Yoda face that is black now is going to turn out green after it's done, and the Princess Leia is going to be black background, and the rest is going to be white. So when we pull it up, you'll see what I mean, what it looks like. So... Go ahead, Emma. And just make sure that it's all stuck down nicely. Can you do that side? Make sure that side. I good. used the heat, the hair dryer, and I helped just the little spots here that were a little bubbly to push it down a little more. So that's just a little trick that if you have anything like that, even on ornaments with Christmas time coming up, you just use a heat dry a hair dryer and push it down, and it gets rid of most of the bubbles. You could have literally left it like this if you painted it better, but we just wanted to go all out. And she's going to need a few coats on this. As you can see, the green is going to be a little bit difficult to cover, but you want to have the nice, crisp, white background so that the Yoda will Stand turn up. green. And then in the last coat, she, you want to make sure that you get your sides as well because this is the last one and you will see all sides. So I would suggest working with the front face first and then on the last coat, doing the sides as well. Okay, so I'm going to finish putting a few coats of white paint on here. I know it's hard to see the file underneath, but fingers crossed that this works like the other one did. So I'm just going to take my weeder and just gently grab the file. Ooh, look at that, guys. No bleeding so far, which is a really good sign. And in between each coat, she did take a hair dryer and dry each coat off. This took a long time to make. Actually, it wasn't even that long. This is actually like a five minute craft. It was just more or less the drying of the paint. Wow, I think this is awesome. Very thoughtful of her. Star Wars has been his number one video since, or his movie, since he was probably five years old. So it's very thoughtful of her to do this. I like it, Emma, you did good. Yeah. So if you guys like Star Wars, stay tuned because she is doing a mug. More Star Wars things. These all turned out so nice. That Look was the that. one from yesterday that we did. Which might be a few videos. Just carefully trying to peel up. Look at that. You did really good, Emma. Yeah, thanks. And this Whoa, 631 vinyl did really well because it was not Is that sticking. Nice I think that was it. Oh, you look so cute. I'm gonna. There. Look at that. And, and then we're gonna so write, cute. like, customize a Yoda name or something. Yeah. Maybe get Lily to do it. I'm terrible at drawing. But maybe you can get your older sister to come in here and write Yoda on it. But let's see what oh, Princess geez. Leia looks trust like. That. I don't have bad handwriting, but with painting I do. So this one is going to be the black behind it. You see some, there's some white, but I kind of like that. It looks like stars. And it could be that... Wow, I actually like the white. It looks like little stars. It does. <laughs> that and literally worked out perfectly. It could be because I used 651 instead of 631 and it's pulling some of the white, the black paint up behind it. But again, I wanted it to stick enough that it wouldn't bleed through. And like Emma said, it kind of does look like stars. It looks like I customized stars behind. Dots.
Yeah, I like how it has the little specks behind it. But maybe if you don't want that to happen, you could use 631 because it's not permanent. But I just nice. wanted to do it so that it would stick to it and the paint wouldn't come up. So I think the next step for Emma is to write something here. That is my favorite. So look again, how good these two look together. This was yesterday's, their last video. So go back and watch that one if you haven't seen it already. It is hilarious with my two girls in it. But we're gonna finish this up. I'm either gonna have, what do you think Emma have? This is your project. I don't know. Maybe we'll use some vinyl here and put Princess Leia. And then on this one, we'll put Yoda. Or maybe her older sister, Lily, can paint something. But stay tuned to see what it looks like. We had so much fun creating these Star Wars characters. There are so many ways you can use a canvas and vinyl to create a stencil. Please hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed yet and give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.